10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just full power. And lift off, one way up three. Stage one propulsion is nominal. Nominal power and telemetry. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral, carrying Vehicle the OneWeb Launch 17 payload. Now we're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. And coming up in just a few seconds here, we will be approaching the point of Max-Q. Max there we go, call up for that there. At the point of Max-Q, we throttle the Merlin 1D engines down briefly to reduce the loads on the vehicle. We've now throttled the engines back up to full power, and this will help us continue to accelerate towards low Earth orbit. The rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per MVAC hour. MVAC engine chill has started. Good call out there for MVAC engine chill. We need to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and actually get into orbit. So keep an eye on that stage one telemetry at the bottom of your screen. Now coming up, we're gonna have five events in very quick succession. Those are main engine cutoff, or MECO, Stage separation, stage one flip, second engine start one, boost back burn, and then from there, the fairing halves will separate. So keep an eye out for those events. Again, starting with main engine cutoff, coming up on that point in just about 15 seconds here, so let's listen in for that. Main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back startup. And there you go. You just heard and saw main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, and second engine start one. Now we are in the middle of the boost back burn, which you can see on the left side of your screen there. That first stage has flipped around and is burning three of its Merlin 1D engines to head back towards the launch site. Stage one boost back shutdown. And there we go, just had confirmation of successful boost back burn shutdown. While the MVAC on the right is pushing the second stage into low Earth orbit. Now today's mission is what we call a RTLS, or return to launch site. And that's actually where we return the first stage back to a landing pad that is actually very close to where we took off from. In just a few seconds, we will separate those fairing halves and should get a good view of our payload. Fairing separation confirmed. There we go, just had successful confirmation of boost back burn end and the successful separation of both the fairing halves from the second stage. Now both of these halves on today's mission are flying for the sixth time and we will be attempting to retrieve them again today once they fall back to Earth using our recovery vessel, Bob. We're just about at T plus a little over four minutes into today's mission, and we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns before satellite deployment. Now at T plus six minutes and 10 seconds, so a couple minutes from now, you should see on your screen the first stages. Both vehicles are following nominal trajectories. You heard that both vehicles are on nominal trajectories. Great views from the first and second stages there. Now for the entry burn of the first stage, we do relight three of the M1D engines on the first stage, starting with the center E9 engine, followed shortly by the E1 and E5 engines, which are all in a row. And this slows the vehicle down as it passes into the Earth's atmosphere. Now we do the entry burn in order to slow down to reduce re-entry forces, which helps us to recover and reuse our first stage. And 
And during that entry burn, Falcon 9 is decelerating, firing those three Merlin entry Merlin engines, but we're still moving really rapidly. So the vehicle will actually fly through its own plume and deposit some of that carbon-based fuel soot that Falcon 9 uses onto the booster. And great views of those grid fins on the first stage. And the Falcon 9 first stage that is supporting today's mission will perform this entry burn for the 13th time, having previously supported multiple missions, including GPS vehicles 4 and 5, Inspiration 4, Axiom 1, Nalsat 301, and seven separate Starlink missions. Entry burn starting here shortly. MVAC shut down. Heard that call out for MVAC shutdown. We're just waiting on confirmation of a good orbit. Nominal orbit insertion. You just heard that good call out for nominal orbital insertion. Stage one entry burn startup. There is the start of the entry burn. Stage one entry burn shut down. Good entry burn from the first stage. Stage one FTS is safe. The flight termination system is safe for stage one. You can see those attitude control thrusters on the first stage firing there. Both vehicles continue to follow nominal trajectories. Both first and second stages are looking good. And our next milestone is the stage one landing bird, which is coming all the way back to landing zone one in Cape Canaveral, starting in about 15 seconds here. Stage one transonic. Stage two FTS is safe. Stage one landing burn. Start of our stage one landing burn. That's great drone footage of the first stage that you can see on the right hand side of your screen. Incredible views from first stage coming down on stage landing one, zone. Land and let deploy. That was a beautiful landing. One, of, land the beautiful landing of the first stage, and there you have it. That landing marks stage space. Terminal guidance. That landing marks SpaceX's 177th recovery of an orbital, orbital class rocket, including the first stage landings of Falcon 9 and Heavy. But the mission isn't over yet. The second stage is now embarking on its first coast phase. Now, after this coast phase, we will relight that MVAC engine for a second time. So we'll see you back here in about 45 minutes. Welcome back to the webcast of the Falcon 9 mission, carrying the OneWeb Launch 17 mission satellites for our customer OneWeb. Now we're just about 20 seconds away from the second ignition of the MVAC engine, which will carry the second stage and the OneWeb Launch 17 payload into the orbit that we need to deploy the satellites. This burn is super short and should just last a few seconds here. So coming up in just about six seconds, let's listen in for that second burn. Looks like we did light that second engine. We're just waiting on confirmation of... Nominal orbit insertion. There it is, just that confirmation of nominal orbital insertion. So great news there. The satellites are now in an orbit that is ready for deployment. So that short burn we just completed is actually meant to refine the orbital trajectory that the vehicle is following in space. And because at this point in the flight, the stage is completely above the atmosphere and mostly empty of propellant, it really doesn't take that much to get it moving. And so that's why that burn was so short. Now it's just about 20 seconds until the first set of satellites begin to deploy. Let's listen into the nets and keep our eyes open.
One web, SAT Alpha 1 and Alpha 5, separation confirmed. And there we go, confirmation of successful deployment of OneWeb SAT A1 and A5. Looks like we did get some live video coverage of that. OneWeb SAT Alpha 4 and Alpha 8, separation confirmed. Good news there, we did just separate another two OneWeb satellites, A4 and A8. Our next uh, payload deploy should be coming up in just about 45 seconds or so. OneWeb, SAT Bravo 1 and Bravo 5, separation confirmed. There we go, two more OneWeb satellites, B1 and B5, have been separated. Getting some really cool views here of these payloads as they float off into space. OneWeb, SAT Charlie 1 and Charlie 5, separation confirmed. There we go, two more satellites deployed there. Got a great shot of those satellites floating off into space. A2 and A6 have successfully deployed. So our next uh, set of uh, satellites, two deployments are expected to be in a area of uh, blackout, so we may not get coverage of them in this particular sequence. And so just waiting on those next four, but we may not get confirmation of those last four until a little bit later in the mission. But for now, we'll plan to come back to you live around the T plus one hour and 17 minute mark. So sit back and enjoy the space views. Welcome back to the OneWeb Launch 17 mission webcast. So far, we've had a nominal mission. With we did have LOS just before the last two deployments in the first deployment sequence. So we are still waiting for confirmation on those. During this blackout period, we also should have started our second payload deployment sequence around the T plus one hour and 14 minute mark. Acquisition of signal, Swalbert. Nine, OneWeb satellite separations confirmed. There, you just heard confirmation of nine satellite deployments confirmed. So that includes the two satellites from the first set of deployments. One web sat Delta four and Delta eight separation confirmed. There, you had confirmation of another two satellites deployed. So we did get confirmation of the two satellites from the last deployment sequence, as well as one web sat Delta three and Delta seven separation confirmed. Great news, you see Delta three and Delta seven satellites have successfully deployed. One web sat Charlie two and Charlie six separation confirmed. Great confirmation of satellite C2 and C6. One web sat Delta one and Delta five separation confirmed. There we go. As you just heard, we did successfully deploy satellites D1 and D5. As expected, we do, did lose our ground station coverage in the middle of this deployment sequence. OneWeb, set Echo 1 and Echo 5, separation confirmed. 40 OneWeb spacecraft separations confirmed. And with that call out, we can confirm successful deployment of all 40 OneWeb satellites, which will wrap up our coverage for today. All of us here at SpaceX want to give a big thank you to our customer OneWeb for entrusting us with today's mission. We also want to give a shout out to the Range and Federal Aviation Administration for supporting today's launch. Today's launch includes our 215th overall SpaceX mission to date and 16th launch of the year. And to all of our viewers, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon.